Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 76. In this video, the Sashimi X-Wing puzzle solving technique will be discussed. This video has one prerequisite video, DX Sudoku number 75, on the empty rectangle with group nodes and group links. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. All the cells having a possible 6 candidate are now highlighted in green. It turns out a Sashimi X-Wing is a variant of the X-Chain, but with group nodes and group links. Finding a sashimi x-wing will be demonstrated by looking for an x-chain sequence. Here is the x-chain search algorithm. At this point in the puzzle, candidates 1 through 5 have already been searched. We currently have all the cells with a possible 6 candidate highlighted. Next, we have identified 3 cells participating in either-or relationships. We can use these 3 cells as starting points when looking for a successful chaining sequence. We find a successful chaining sequence using cell 2 comma 2 as a starting point. As you can see, our chaining sequence is similar to the empty rectangle chaining sequence demonstrated in DX Sudoku video number 75. The kill zone is defined the same way as before. Any cells sharing a house with cells having one of each alternating color is a non-possible candidate. The difference with the sashimi x-wing chaining sequence and the empty rectangle chaining sequence is the fourth node in the chaining sequence is a group node sharing the same 3x3 block with the target candidates as shown. Just as with the empty rectangle, we have a group weak link relationship with the fourth node and the two cells making up the target candidates to kill. Before we remove the non-possible candidates, we will next consider the logic for how the sashimi x-chain works. If cell 2 comma 2 has a value of 6, our target candidates in our kill zone are immediately killed. If we do not have a value of 6 in cell 2 comma 2, then we must have a value of 6 in cell 5 comma 2 because of the strong link relationship. And if we have a value of 6 in cell 5 comma 2, then we cannot have a value of 6 in cell 5 comma 6 because of the weak link relationship between the two cells. And finally, if cell 5 comma 6 does not have a value of 6, then there must be a 6 either in cell 1 comma 6 or cell 3 comma 6. Having a 6 in either cell 1 comma 6 or cell 3 comma 6 means our target candidates are killed by either choice. In both cases, having or not having a 6 in our starting cell results in our target candidates in the kill zone being killed. We have visually confirmed the logic, we remove the non-possible candidates from the puzzle. So just like the Turbot fish is a fancy name for an X-chain sequence having four nodes and three links, a Sashimi X-wing is just a fancy name for a type of X-chain sequence where the fourth node in the chaining sequence is a group node sharing a 3x3 three three block with some target candidates to kill in the kill zone. And just like with the Turbot fish, there's no reason to purposely look for sashimi X-wings in a puzzle. Instead, just look for X-chain sequences having a group node is plenty good enough for finding sashimi X-wings. This completes DXodoku training video number 76. Please support DXodoku. Thank you for watching.